Vincent, a 3-1 win, a convincing performance. What's your thoughts on tonight? I, I think we, we've got to be happy, really happy with the win. Um, especially, you know, you know ahead of the game that Middlesbrough drop points. You know that, that, that this can this can put you closer to your goal. And um, and I thought the boys did exactly what we needed to do in such a moment, is, is focus on, on our own performance, on our own game. And... and um, and that gives us again a, a very, very good away result. And another hat trick for Nathan Teller, a pretty breathtaking performance. What do you sort of make of his performance once again? Well, you know, Nathan at this moment in time, you know, he's, um, he's, he's in a. I think he's got momentum, he's got the form. I think, you know, everything he does fits as well within what we do. And, um, and so it's a good match at the moment. And that's why you see. A player that plays with a smile gets his goals and, and, and puts in the hard work for the team. I still think that you've always want to give credit to the team, obviously, for 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 creating those goals as well. Um, we always do it together, but in the end, um, you know, at the moment when he's in front of goal, he's, he's in he's in such a form that he he doesn't miss and and long may it continue. Nathan, well, as away games go, not not too bad a night for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was obviously a really good night. I think as a team we were we were a bit um, disappointed that we conceded a goal at the end. But I think overall, I think we can all be happy with what we did today and now just going into the game on on Saturday and just giving us a lot of confidence. And it's your your nineteenth goal of the uh, of the season and your second hat trick of the campaign. You're gonna have to get a bigger shelf to put these match balls on, aren't you? <laughs> Do you think I can still keep kicking the first one around? I've not put it on the shelf yet. So. <laughs> nah, but it's, it's credit to the boys. They've all helped me adjust really well. They've given me the belief that I can score goals. And today, the passes which we played, um, the runs which we all made, I think the cross from Ian was, was a brilliant cross. And I just knew that when you've got someone of his quality, you can put the ball in that area. I've just got to just make sure I get in between the uh, posts. And, Thankfully, I did, and we were able to score and celebrate in front of the away fans. Yeah, I was going to mention it. What a fantastic ball across from me. And, and early in the week, interestingly, you also said about the fantastic service that you received from Arrow, too. I mean, having teammates like that and, and playing the way they do, it must really help you hit your targets. Yeah, I mean, definitely, because obviously, as an attacker, you always want to be involved in goals or assists. And thankfully, I've been scoring <laughs> quite a few. But whether it's me or whether it's someone else, I think we always get in opportunities to get 1v1 with defenders, and that's our strengths, whether it's me or... And as well, Bettina, we were able to get into 1v1 situations and thankfully we've got a team that allow us to get into those situations. So I'm really happy to, to be a part of it. And looking, I mean, at this league campaign, that's the 17 unbeaten. Um, you must take great pride yourself and, and the team for that. that. Those stats are, they're really staggering. Yeah, no, we do, obviously, but it's, it's, it doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> we're not promoted, we've not won anything. So we're still just approaching it game by game, performance by performance, and just trying to be the best we can be, playing the right way, trying to put teams to the sword and keep doing what we've been doing. But yeah, it's nice to be 17 unbeaten, but we know that we can do more. And um, putting the, the lead just to, to the side for, for tonight, looking ahead now, uh, a very, very different game of the weekend as well against Manchester City. Quarterfinals, though, what a special occasion. How are you feeling ahead of that game? Yeah, good. I think the Tales of Team is these are the games you want to play in the quarterfinals, one game away from Wembley. You know that we're going to give give our all and leave it all on the pitch, and I feel that it's a good it's a good way to go into the international break and mm -hmm. give us, uh, well, yeah, give us a chance to go to Wembley and play against arguably the best team in the world. So I feel that we'll all get confidence from it. We've got nothing to lose, and it should be a good game. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, well, well done. Thank you. Fantastic night's work. Cheers, thank you. <laughs>